Hallo, mijn naam is Ritterkom. Welkom bij deze video. En vandaag gaan we beginnen met F1 2012, de Jong Drivers Test. Een tweedaagse event wat normaal gesproken voor het begin van het Formule 1 seizoen wordt gehouden. Dus laten wij ook maar beginnen aan deze test. Kijken hoe goed we kunnen omgaan met F1 auto's. Nou, daar gaan we dan. simple straight line aero test. Head down the track, accelerating past 257 kph, then brake so that you come to a complete stop in the designated area. The engine's locked to lean, so it's down a little on power at the moment, but it'll give us a consistent reading. Dat ging niet helemaal goed. Volgende test. Modern Formula One cars have around 750 brake horsepower being sent to the rear wheels. The delivery can be very violent, so you must be careful to be smooth and precise with all your inputs so that you don't unsettle the car and cause a spin. At speed, the car's aerodynamics generate a lot of downforce, forcing the car to the track. To work efficiently with downforce, you should put a lot of force into the brake pedal initially, slowly reducing the pressure as they turn in for the corner, as you'll have less grip at this stage and be asking the tires to work harder. When navigating a corner, stay as wide as possible before sweeping in to clip the corner's apex, taking as straight a line as possible. This allows you to get on the accelerator earlier and straighten up the car on the exit of the corner, slowly increasing the pressure on the accelerator as you exit the corner until you're confident the rear wheels will no longer spin, at which point you can use full power. Nou, dat was hier wel de uitleg. Aan de hairpin testen. Test, we need you to accelerate towards the hairpin, turn in at the correct point, hit the apex and accelerate past 297 kph out of the corner. We need you to stop in the designated area at the end of the straight to complete the test.
Three. You might want to give it another go. I'm not more capable here. For this test, we need you to accelerate towards the hairpin, turn in at the correct point, hit the apex, and accelerate past 297 kph out of the corner. We need you to stop in the designated area at the end of the straight to complete the test. Ik heb nog geen Apex gemist. Ah, nog een keer proberen. For this test, we need you to accelerate towards the hairpin, turn in at the correct point, hit the apex, and accelerate past 297 kph out of the corner. We need you to stop in the designated area at the end of the straight to complete the test. Dat was hem eindelijk. Ja, we hebben een gemist ergens. Nog maar een keer. Oké, tijd om te stringen om een paar corners te proberen. Turn in, zodat je de corners hit apex en get op de gas eerder als je exit. Het zal tegen de klok deze keer, dus we hebben de engine op naar normaal. We nodig je om te stoppen in de designated area aan het einde van de straat om de test te completen. Oh, 
alle Apex herhaald. En die ook haal. Yes. <laughs> Kurz delivers an additional 80 brake horsepower to the rear wheels at the press of a button. It can be used in short bursts or all at once for around 7 seconds per lap. Kurz can be used at any time in any session and can be used for overtaking or defending. Deploying Kurz in the low gears gives the best return and can pay off greatly when used at the start. The Kurz charge will automatically refill every lap, but the Kurz system can at times develop faults. However, these can be fixed while the driver is still out on track. DRS adjusts the angle of the rear wing, which reduces drag and gives around 10 to 12 km per hour extra top speed. It can only be used in defined activation points during the race when you're within one second of the car in front. It can be used whenever the driver wants in practice or qualifying, but only when dry tires are fitted. And that's the end of day one of the Young Drivers Test here at Abu Dhabi. Join us tomorrow for day two. Nou mensen, dat was dan deel 1 van de Young Drivers Test van F1 2012. Uh, in de volgende video gaan we verder met de Drivers Test natuurlijk. Uh, mocht je deze video leuk vinden, geef dan een like en subscribe op dit kanaal. Alvast bedankt en tot de volgende keer.